Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Elif Pico Squeeze 2. This is actually the upgrade from the original Elif Pico Squeeze, but I never did have that one. I am gonna go down with you. We're gonna talk about it. I'm gonna show you about it. We're gonna go through menus, um, do a build on it, and then we're gonna come back up and do pros and cons. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here we are with the Pico Squeeze 2 by Elif. I never did have the original Pico Squeeze. It was a smaller, um, I, I'm pretty sure it was like an unregulated in the sense of it didn't have menus or anything like that. And it was only for $18,650. So this is the Pico Squeeze 2. It does come with the um, Coral 2 RDA. Um, this is the box that it comes in. It does have your scratch off authenticity. On this side, it's gonna have all the social media links for Elite World. This does come with the 21700 battery. You've got your serial number or UPC. In the back, it's actually gonna tell you um, what it comes with. It actually comes with the Pico Squeeze 2, the Coral 2 Atomizer, the um, two Clapton coils, um, 0.2 ohms, uh, one thing of cotton, um, battery sleeve, USB cable, user manual, spare, spare parts, and then you open up the box. This is the easy part. This is the hard part. <laughs> okay, so there we go. All right, and there is the start of the show, the Elif Pico Squeeze 2. This is how it comes. Let me go ahead and show you the what comes in it first. It does come with, and I love, love, I don't know how many times I've said this, but I love Elif's um, menu systems because the manuals, they come two separate all the time. You're going to get for the mod itself. It's going to give you all the information regarding that. And then it also comes with the manual just for the RDA. So if it does come in a kit or it's two pieces, they always give you the separate manuals, which I really, really, really like. Um, here is your extra Japanese organic cotton. In this bag, you are going to get your spare screws and tiny little, tiny, tiny, tiny little O-rings. In this bag, you're going to get your um, Clapton coils, your tri-tool, uh, the grub screws, some extra O-rings, and then, of course, an additional Squonk 510 pin, which I think is an automatic plus right there. Um, because to have an extra pin, that's that's just that's just amazing. Um, there's your Clapton coils. I'm actually going to be using my own Fuse Clapton coils um, because I prefer them, but it does come with some. So if you don't have any, you're more than welcome to use these. Um, and then we've got the USB charging cable. You've got your warning card. So this is just telling you that um, don't use batteries that are ripped or torn. It does come with a battery sleeve. This is for your 18650 batteries. And what I really love, and I noticed in the manual um, on this when I first got it, look at this. It actually tells you what direction to put the battery sleeve on. I think that is a huge, huge pro because numerous times we don't know how to put these battery sleeves on if it doesn't indicate which way it goes, a plus or a minus or positive or negative. So kudos to Elif for doing that. Um, and then you do get a square squonk, or square spare squonk bottle. The only thing is, is it doesn't have um, the um, top to it. You would actually have to take it off of the one that is installed. And that is it for what is coming with the kit. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put this aside real quick. And then we're gonna focus on the star of the show. So here it is. This is a 100 watt device. You do have up and down um, buttons. Here is your LED screen. On the back, you're actually gonna have your USB charging or firmware upgrade um, port. I do not recommend charging batteries inside the mod. I do always recommend an external charger, but on the go, if you need something, at least you can do that. This is actually your fire button, which is definitely on the other side of where your up and down is, um, which they sometimes do that separately. Um, usually their up and downs are on the bottom, but because of the squonk bottle, they did put it on one side and then the fire button on the other. Um, there is no other um, indication of anything on the sides. It is very shiny. It is kind of like a fingerprint magnet. Um, it does come in one, two, three, I think five colors. It comes in the black with stainless steel, all stainless steel, rainbow, which they call dazzling, purple or red. Um, which are really, really nice colors. And then it comes with this RDA. This is actually your battery top. And just like any of the other Picos, you just unscrew it. And it actually, you will have an option to buy it with the 21700 battery. When it comes, it's actually gonna have this little sticker on the top of it. 
right here when you open it up. You wanna make sure that you take that off before you try to fire your device. It does have a clear positive indicator on the bottom, so you would put it positive side down. I love that it comes with its own battery because basically you can just get up and go. So that to me is a huge plus. We'll go ahead and take off, let me turn this off. One, two, three, four, five, and so I'm ready for it. Let's go ahead and take off the RDA so I can show you this. This um, 510 pin is not spring-loaded, but it is a squonk pin and it fits this perfectly. It does protrude. It's got your peak insulator on the bottom. This is actually a beauty ring to make it sit flush on the device as well as make it a little bit bigger. With this ring, it does make it a 6, 26 millimeter RDA. On the bottom, you're gonna have two screws. You're gonna have your 510. Again, it is protruding. It does say E-Leaf Coral 2. It does only have one airflow slot. This is a single coil RDA. It does have an 810 compatible um, drip tip, which is very, very hard to remove. I have lubed it up. I have done everything for it, and it's still kind of hard to remove, but it is removable. I usually just try to use my little cloth here. Okay, I'll have to push it out. I'm not gonna fight that. But anyway, it is, it's very, very snug. It's got this O-ring that is just a little bit too tight, I think. I think either the drip tip is just a little bit too big or um, the O-ring is a little bit too thick. So I can't really get that off. I'm just gonna put this on so I can take off the top cap for you. When you take off the top cap, on the inside, you're actually gonna see that it is a single coil configuration. You do have a really, really nice deep juice well here. Um, as you can see, it does go all the way to the bottom. Your actual squonk, um, squonk pin here, it actually protrudes some, so it's actually gonna like come up and then down to wet your wicks, which I think is awesome, and you've got all this space. So that to me is, it's really, really a great, great device. In addition to that, your airflow is actually angled down, so it's gonna be hitting directly to the coil, as you can see. So it's gonna hit right underneath the coil and then, to me, give you better flavor. Um, and then it's got the two grub screws here for you to install your coil, which we will be doing. You're gonna see little two little indications here um, on either side of the RDA. This is actually so when you're actually trying to place your coil, you can actually place it in the indicated area. So you can actually lay it down like this and you know exactly where your coil has to sit, which I think is a fantastic idea, to be honest with you. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and build on that. Let me show you the top cap first. It is domed, which is to provide better flavor. Again, there is just that single airflow slot there. It does have the 810. I can take the 810 out. I've already done it a few times. And I just push it through this way. There we go. I told you it's really, really, and I've lubed it up and everything. It does have the um, installed O-ring, but again, I think that that's either too thick or this needs to be milled down just a little bit more. But um, yeah, it's got a really snug fit, but it goes in good. It Now it's coming out because, you know, because I'm on camera. So now it'll come out like if there's never been an issue. <laughs> but okay, so let's go ahead and build on this baby. And um, for the coil, like I said, I'm not gonna be using the included coil. I'm actually gonna be using my own. Um, I'm not sure of the material of the coils that are included. It just says Clapton's. They could be Canthal, they could be stainless steel. I'm not really sure. So I'm gonna use my own. These are actually my Fuse Clapton's. And I get these from Coil Cloud. I'll leave the information down below, below the video. Um, and these are all Nichrome, made of all Nichrome 80. So I'm gonna use that. And what we're gonna do is go ahead and open up the um, the grub screws so we can fit this coil in. Um, you can do one of two things. Um, you can pre-cut or you can measure and then pre-cut, but you're gonna have to pre-cut. This is almost like a postless in a sense, but you will need to do that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and loosen this up. Let me tighten this on first. Put on my beauty ring, make it beautiful. Just screw this down. That way I have it all put together. Makes it just a little bit that much easier. Okay, so there we go. And you're all zoomed in. And what I'm gonna do is just finish undoing this. Yes, you know, with my ADD, it's like I lose track of what I'm talking about during the whole conversation. If you've ever been on any of my live shows, you'll you'll realize what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pre-cut it just a little bit and then we'll measure it further. So I'm just gonna take my coil just cut some of it off. 
I'm gonna see where it lands. See what more I need to do. There we go. I am gonna use my little rod just to put this in. Oops, makes it easier for me. I'm just gonna go ahead and stick those that in there. And I know that it's gonna be really, really way long, but it's okay. I'll go ahead and just look at it. Yeah, that's gonna be way, way long. So I'm gonna cut it even further. And again, I'm just eyeballing it right now. Trying to figure out the distance of it. Okay, and I'll go ahead and put that in there now. Do, 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 do. Got one hole there, and they are angled. So there we go. I've actually got it um, pretty much right where I want it, right there. I'll go ahead and turn this around facing this way. Oops, I lost my coil. I'm gonna face it this way. Because I'm right-handed, it just makes it a lot easier to do it this way. I was trying to do it the other way for you, but yeah. So I'm gonna put that there. That's actually where it would go. That's where the grooves are. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this down. It's pretty easy. I mean, for a single coil, all you do is you just put it in, you pre-cut it. The hardest part is gonna be just pre-cutting. But as I always say, you wanna cut little by little. The longer it is, you can make it shorter, but if you make it too short, you have to start over. So there we go. I'm just gonna go ahead and straighten that up a little bit. And it is perfectly in line with the grooves right here. It's not too close, not too far. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start firing this up so we can get that fired and glowing. And to turn the mod on, five clicks on. One, two, three, four, five. It's coming on. Just gonna turn that up a little bit. And I'll go ahead and start firing the coil. I wanna get it to glow evenly. There we go. It's starting to glow really, really pretty from the inside out. There we go. So we'll go ahead and wick that up. Now it would probably be easier for some without the beauty ring so that you can put um, the, the whatever you're using, the tool that you're using down lower to line it up, but I can see it so it doesn't bother me. I like it with the beauty ring already on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab some cotton. And of course, as usual, I am gonna be using my Kendo Vape Cotton Gold Edition. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut some off here because this is a single coil. I don't need too much. I'll just put that through there. Oops. Get it on the other side and pull it through. There we go. Okay, and I've got that in there. It's tight, but not too tight. Just gonna go ahead and clip it right here because it is a very, very deep juice well. And I'm just gonna fluff that out. Because it is a deep juice well, I'm gonna thin the side out just a little bit. But I want it nice and fluffy to catch all the juices and then just put that in there, put that in there. And look at all that space, you see it? So when I squonk it, I will be showing it. It's actually gonna go ahead and saturate those wicks. I think that's just an amazing, amazing deck. So let's go ahead and put this top cap on for now. And we're gonna go ahead and look at the menu on the device. So again, it is five clicks on, five clicks off. There we go. And um, right now it's showing at a 0.33 for my resistance. Um, this does go from one watt increments to 100 watts. Um, the lower that it is, it will go in 0.1 increments, but once you get up to 20 watts, it will um, start going up in one watt increments instead. So see here, it goes all the way up to 100. And it goes pretty fast, I think, in my opinion. And then you can scroll down. Okay, so if you click it three times, you'll get into, into your menu, which is wattage. You've got bypass, which of course is like an unregulated device, but you do have the protections of the mod. Um, temperature and nickel, titanium, stainless steel. You've also got your memory settings, your TCR memory settings, one, two, and three, which work very similar to temperature control. In temperature control, which I did go ahead and take off the Addy so that I can show you this. If you're in temperature control for nickel, for, for instance, it's gonna show you what material or what 
type that of temperature control that you're in. So this is showing nickel. It is showing Fahrenheit and it does go up to a full 600 um, degrees in Fahrenheit. And then it does round robin to the Celsius and it is 100 degrees Celsius to 315 degrees Celsius and then 200 to 600 for the Fahrenheit. Um, to change your wattage, which is shown here, to um, accommodate what you want it, if you just click four times in the temperature settings, one, two, three, four, you can actually change your wattage. It will go up to the full 100 watts and as low as the one watt. So you can go ahead and adjust it. Just hit the fire button and it'll go ahead and set that. To get back to wattage mode, you click the fire button three times and just go back to wattage. And there we are. Now, if you hit your, um, while it, the device is on, if you hit your plus and minus, this is actually gonna lock the device, but it will still fire. And then to unlock, you just press and hold it again, and it will unlock your keys. Um, when it is off, one, two, three, four, five. While it is off, if you hit the plus and minus, you can actually rotate your screen. and it'll be on the other side. And then to rotate it back, just press your plus and minus, and then it's the other way. And then one, two, three, four, five. While it is on, if you press your plus button and your fire, which is what I'm pressing at the same time, it's actually gonna go into a sub menu, or I call it a sub menu. In this, you're gonna get all the other additional functions. So in here, you're gonna get your puff, on your main screen, you can show puff time or volt. And these are the selections. Currently it is on voltage. Um, you can also have it on time if you want. It does show a 12 second time. You select that. You can go to puff. To reset your puff, if you press and hold your fire button, it will actually reset it. I don't know how many times I've already reset this. <laughs> press that. Um, press it to get back into it. I like the voltage to show on my screen, so I always keep it in voltage. This right here is for your um, stealth mode. You can have it on or off. I do choose to keep it off. This is for your um, power or duration. So you can actually set this. This is like your ramp up and then for how long, and then you can exit. This right here is your logo. If you want the logo screen on or off, I just keep it on. This right here is for your lights. If you notice here, it's actually changing light colors. Oh, let me show you this. It's kind of hard to see. All right, so we'll go ahead and take off that bottle real quick. So with the light colors, let's go ahead and go back to the menu. So for the color screens, all right, so currently it's on blue. You can change it to cyan, you can change it to white, yellow, purple. I really like that purple. Um, or you can have it off. I'm gonna leave it on purple. I do like the purple. And then just go ahead and select it. And then the next one is gonna be your voltage. This is gonna tell you our, I'm sorry, your hardware firmware um, version. And then the next one is gonna be your voltage. And that's what it's gonna show there. And then of course, your exit. So that's it. Now on the main screen, you are gonna show your resistance, your voltage, or whatever you choose. You can have your puff or your time. And then of course, your wattage that is here, which again does go from one watt to 100 watts. So um, yeah, so that's that. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and fill up my squonk bottle. If you notice, it's just a little bit crookified. And that's because of the way that it's gonna fit in here so that it has the accommodated space. It does have like the silicone protection right here, which I think is really, really nice. And it works pretty much like the other squonk bottles do. This one is a really, really nice food grade silicone. Um, I do like the feeling of this and I like the fact that it's a really, really wide tip. I don't have to take this off. Yay for me. That is a big plus. I hate, hate, Hey, try and unscrew these when we have the silicone bottles because I'm constantly making a mess. So today for my juice, I'm actually gonna be using icing on the flakes. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this squonk bottle up and then we'll go ahead and we're nice and up. filled. I'm just gonna go ahead and insert this just like this and turn the bottle a little bit, push it all the way up, get it up there and that's it. This is the side panel, which I did forget to show you that does come off. This is actually the base and then this just slides right up just like this. It's all magnetized. So it does stay in place. You don't have to worry about it just falling off. This is the bottom of it. It's got air, um, air ventilation for your battery and that's about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on so we can go ahead and juice it up and start vaping on it. 
Okay, I'm just gonna take that off. And as usual, I do like to prime up my coil first. So I'm gonna make sure that that's not too high. And prime these up. And I'm just gonna press the fire button while I'm wetting the coil. Because I wanna make sure that I'm saturating the cotton within the coil first. It's just the way that I do things. And then I have no ramp up time with my cotton at all. Like I get no cotton flavor or anything like that. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and squonk. All I gotta do is just press this squonk. And you can see it rising up from the middle. You see it? And it literally fills that whole base. And there's really no way to really come out because of the angle of the airflow. There's really no way. I actually got a drip of it on the airflow and it's not coming out because it can't. It's going up. It's not going down. For those airflows that are angled that are lower, you know, going from down to up into the coil, those you will have problems with. But with this one, you're definitely not. I just squonk it and go. Squonk it and go. I'm just going to make sure my cotton's nice and... Put in there, I'm gonna just saturate it just a little bit more here, just to help it get started the first time. After the first time, it's on its own. But it's just near the top because I don't want to flood my deck either. So that's it. And yeah, so let's go ahead and put this on and take it on top. And we're gonna talk about it a little bit more. And I'll okay, so on. here we are back on top with the E-Leaf Pico Squeeze 2. And um, we're gonna go ahead and have a vape and then we'll talk more about it. I currently have it at 59 watts. It's giving me great vapor production. It does have great, great flavor. I know exactly what this icing on the flakes tastes like, which is like a frosted flakes cereal. Um, it actually won an award at the National Vape Expo. What is going on with my hair? Um, the National Vape Expo in Mobile, Alabama. So yay to them. So North Shore Vapor, congratulations. Um, but back to this. Okay, so I do have some pros and I have some cons. Number one con for me is gonna be the button placement. Um, I, I like holding it like this because I like squonking. Um, the fire button for me is not comfortable. It's not a hindrance. It's not gonna keep me from vaping it or using it, but I don't like the placement of the button. Um, it is easy to get used to probably more and I'm not trying to be like, um, in any way like sexist or anything, but probably more for a guy, this would be better for them. But I prefer my buttons either here or here, preferably like right here um, when it comes to squonking. But that's just my personal opinion. That has nothing to do with the device itself. Um, I do like this RDA. I think that it's got amazing, amazing airflow for um, a single coil. I think that it's great. Great flavor, great clouds. Those are my two pluses. Um, another thing, it comes with a battery, a 21700 battery. So I'm gonna get some very, very good battery life. Another pro is gonna be the Squonk bottle. The Squonk bottle, I really like it. I love it because the hole is right there. It's nice and big. I don't have to worry about unscrewing anything, taking out a stick, putting it back in. I don't have to worry about that. It's gonna be easy to fill. I don't need to carry around one of these things just to fill it. Um, if I want to, I can, but I don't have to. Um, so that to me is a big plus. I do like that it is squishy. Um, it's not too squishy, but it's not not squishy, if you know what I mean. But anyway, um, I've always liked the looks of the Pico devices. So for me, that's a great plus. Um, I do like that they finally put the plus and minus on the top rather than to have it on the bottom. I really didn't like it. I just, in my opinion, don't like the fact that it's separate from the fire button because it kind of feels weird when I'm like on this side, on this side, trying to um, navigate through it. It does have a very, very easy menu. I think that that's also a pro for me. Easy menu um, is an easy vapor, but uh, yeah, I like that. It does go up to 100 watts, so that's also a pro. Um, it comes with all the extras. Oh my God, extras, extra, extra. You've got so many extras. It comes with its own coil, its own cotton. The only thing about the coils is I don't know what the um, material is, but it does come with coils. Comes with cotton, extra screws, extra grub screws. Um, it comes with the extra squonk bottle, a huge, huge pro. The only thing is, is that it doesn't have the cap on it. That to me 
is part of a con because I like to already have it ready to go. I don't want to have to take it apart, put it together, and then go if I if I have a problem with this bottle. I would have also liked where if you, because nobody's really made it, where you can actually have the extra bottle where you can take it with you instead of having to carry like an extra bottle around or at one of these or anything like that. You can actually just have another one of these and when this is empty, just take it out and put another one in. I think that that would be a really, really great idea to do. Um, but being the reason why I thought about it is because there's nothing on the other one. The extra one doesn't come with even the top from this one. You have to put it on manually. So that made me think of that, which would be a great idea, Wendy. Okay. But anyway, um, I do love the looks of it. I like that they made the beauty ring the same design as the battery cover. I think that that's a huge pro. I do like that you can use this with or without the beauty ring. Um, you don't have to have that beauty ring. I like it. It matches. It looks good. Um, it does take up to a 26 millimeter um, Addy without any overhang. Um, the dimensions, I want to say it was 28 um, millimeters wide, but I would probably go with a 26 max. Um, the resistance range is, in wattage is a 0.05 to a 3 ohm, and then a temperature control, a 0.05 to a 1.5 ohms. Um, it does hold, I forgot to mention, um, it says 8 mil of e-liquid capacity, which to me is a big, big pro. I like to have e-liquid capacity, and this bottle is chubby. Compared to other bottles or other squonk bottles, it is much chubbier, if you see it. So it is definitely much chubbier. So I do like that. So uh, that that's a pro. I love, oops, I love this little door. I think that that's great. It's on magnets. It's easy to put on. You don't have to fight with it. You just pull it off and it, it won't fall off. There's no battery rattle whatsoever. That's another pro. Um, this drip tip is super, super tight. That to me is a huge con because I like to match stuff. I like to switch out my, my um, drip tips and this is like a pain to take off. It really is. So I don't know if it's the O-ring or the milling of the drip tip itself that needs to be adjusted a little bit, but that's, that's it for that. Um, other than that, um, oh, the colors, it comes in, that purple is hot. Let me just show you real quick. So this actually came with it. So it shows you the colors. Can you see the colors? So it comes in that red, even the red's nice. The red, they call this dazzling, but it's really like a rainbow. And then the all stainless, the purple, and then the one that I have. Um, the colors are amazing, so I like that. Pico's always been great about their cut, their colors. But I like that it's compact. It is a little bit heavy because it feels good in the hand though. It feels really, really solid. It doesn't feel cheap, it doesn't feel like plastic. It's really, really solid in the hand. So that to me is another pro. Currently, I cannot find it on any of the websites available for sale, but I will update um, the in the description once it does become available with pricing. I'm guessing it's any, gonna be anywhere from 50 to 70 because it comes with the battery, but I really don't know for sure. You can't quote me on that. They will be getting it at, um, where are they getting it? They're gonna be getting it at Cloudy Vapor. Um, MyVPro.com, I think is gonna have it, and then My Vapor Store. So I know those for sure. I do know um, Vape Sourcing is gonna be getting it also, and Vape ORL, or Vap ORL, V-A-P ORL, they're gonna be getting it too. I'm sure they're gonna have an option with and without the battery, and it'll probably be less expensive without the battery, but I like devices that come with batteries. That to me is, I just like having extra batteries. Who doesn't, right? <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, so if you wanna get this, I will leave some links down below. You can go ahead and check them out. They should be out in about a week or two, I would say at the max. Um, if you wanna get icing on the flake, I will also leave a link down below and a coupon code, Wendy15, for 15% 15 off if you wanna try this. It is super, super yummy. If you like any type of cereal vape, you will love this. So yeah, so I'm gonna let you go and uh, let's go ahead and have a vape. I can't find the fire button. <laughs> I'm still, I, like I've been using this for a while now and still that fire button, it just doesn't feel like it's in the right place, but it works great. Did I say the flavor is good? Flavor is really, really good. So I will see you on the next one. All my social media links are down below. So bye.